Hi, and welcome to another installment of Tom Talks. I have the privilege of speaking to one of our international graduates, Emily Muller-Sten, graduated with a minor and a certificate in water studies from MSU Denver's One World One Water Center in 2016. And she is currently working in Sweden, her home country. So thank you for joining us today, Emily. Yeah, thanks for having me. So tell us a little bit about how you, coming from Sweden, found OWOW and how you decided to plug into the water studies program there. Yeah, so it first started when I, after high school, I decided to travel in the United States and visit some family members uh, over there. And I came to Colorado and I just fell in love with the state and its nature and the mountains and everything. And so once I came back home, I decided that, oh, I, I should study there. Um, so I applied to MSU Denver and I've always been interested in environmental issues. Um, and so I signed up for the environmental science major at MSU Denver. And then I found the OWOW Center. I, I think it was through the WASAP um, water stewards, um, like a uh, student volunteer organization. Yeah. Um, and I got, I got involved with them. And then I think Tom um, was uh, helping us set up, up some sort of um, water career fair, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, yeah, came in contact with him. And um, yeah, he told me about the OAU Center and the, the water studies minor. And yeah, I thought it sounded great. And uh, so Tom yeah. Check is the namesake of Tom Talks. He and yeah. I are co-directors at Oh Wow, um, but he he is wonderful and and has been there since the beginning of the program, and uh, you know so has been very influential in shaping it and and recruiting students into the program. So that's not surprising to hear that. Uh, he was involved in luring you in. Um, so now, several years later, you're back in Sweden. How has your water studies experience at OWOW helped you professionally and academically? Um, I would say that it gave me a very um, strong foundation um, on like everything, environmental uh, issues, water related um, issues and also sciences like hydrology and stream ecology um yeah everything you know like that biology chemistry um and also um yeah i mean just it sparked my interest in water issues uh for sure when i came in contact with the os center um, so what do you do professionally now because you have a really cool job <laughs> yeah, so I, I work for the, the regional government offices uh, in Sweden, in Gothenburg, and I'm in charge of um, implementing the EU Water Framework Directive at a regional level here in Sweden. And so we do um, all sorts of water monitoring and uh, water testing, and we try to implement different sorts of uh, policies and strategies to make our municipalities, but also uh, industries or and other actors um, to work on water um, measures and yeah, stuff like that. So is it safe to say, that sounds like a very interdisciplinary job that you have, because mm -hmm. there's a political element an environmental element, a compliance, a, a, um, a business element. Um, would you say that your academic experience at OWOW and the interdisciplinary nature of the program helped you prepare for such a multifaceted water career? Definitely did. Yeah, definitely. Good. Good. That was a loaded question, but you had yeah. the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> it for sure did. Yes. <laughs> so you went on to get your master's, correct? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Tell us so, a bit about that. Yeah, after I, um, I finished in 2016 at MUC Denver. Uh, and then after that, I applied to a master's program uh, here in Sweden, uh, which was the soil and water management. Um, so I did that for two years. And then I was um, lucky enough to get an internship or a trainee course at the EU. So I uh, stayed in Brussels for six months and uh, yeah, learned everything <laughs> there is to know about EU, um, environmental legislation and uh, policies. Very impressive. Um, yeah. yeah. 
So in your opinion, which is a more complicated environment for water issues, the EU or the United States? Or do you have enough of a frame of reference for the United States? <laughs> I imagine uh, I, so many I'd countries say, it's complicated. Yeah, it's complicated in different ways, I would say. Mm -hmm. I'd say over here, um, it's complicated, yeah, due to the, uh, there's so many countries and to try to make everybody follow the same framework, it's mm -hmm. not always easy. Um, yeah. Whereas um, as far as I got to know, uh, like Colorado water law and issues there, it's more of an issue of the uh, access to water and uh, droughts and water scarcity. Right. Yeah, um, yeah, so like different issues we're all grappling with, yeah. Mm -hmm. So finally, what advice would you have to students at MSU Denver or even you know, high school students who are considering, you know, where should I go for university? Uh, why, oh wow, why get a minor or a certificate in water studies uh, through the One World, One Water Center? Um, for me, it opened, it gave me a lot of connections. Um, I had the opportunity to do the internship at the uh, Denver Botanic Gardens. I met with so many um, just great teachers and uh, professors at the, through the OWA Center and the MSU Denver. Um, and they just gave me a lot of inspiration and a lot of knowledge. Um, and yeah, it just opened up so many doors to uh, move further in my career with water. Great. Well, it is a pleasure talking with you. Talk for Talk your time. <laughs> <laughs> and that pretty much exhausts my Swedish. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but it's, it's wonderful catching up with you. And thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us at Tom Talks. My pleasure. <laughs>